Up the way to the same, the hardy same in there. The high hardy and the low hardy. That's what we'll call it. Now, Then turn left. That's it. I turn left. I have to turn left. Way to the house, see. The brockman. But it was like this is our finished brockman when we were there. So, what directions? Is that north? So, it's kind of north, isn't it? To the yuk cast shaft. Now, as if the yuk was washing wood somewhere around, couldn't get up. Just walk along. Well, obviously, we were a short walk, walk from here to the yuk cast yeah. shaft. When you got down to the feet, to the, the bottom, was it just a straight walk to the yuk cast shaft then as well, or would you have to go via a different route? So, uh, uh, no, is that where it's just there? It's on the ground. Just further down like it was solid solid rock so they didn't need, need any timber. <laughs> the, the other thing I was gonna ask was oh yes that's what oh, I was gonna ask. Uh, that, that, that way was to the big seam the, like that. The low seam was that way man. Probably shatter and remember better. So you know if you got in the cage here and the cage goes down, was it only one stop and that was the bottom or was the oh, was the no, things halfway down and or so on or whatever? Stop for the brockwood. Alright, oh, so it was different stops at oh, different right. depths. And how did the person on the top know where to stop the cage at? Or, or was the cage controlled from within? Can you remember? Did you have to stop there automatically. You'd say that the brockwood wasn't in work and then when we when we left, because we, we finished donkey's years before I was there. So the Brockwell seam was an old seam? Uh, it was an old seam. If anybody wanted there, you used to inform the winder man to stop at the Brockwell. And I guess he would have a, a depth gauge so he knew how far to, to oh, lower the cage. Uh, the, but if the Brockwell wasn't worked, why would anyone want to go there? Or, or was it a route just, to another just, face? Just, just for an examination, just in case there was any gas there. Was right, cleaner, right. You know. Well, the brock would have been finished 1920s or something. Or 30, something like that. Well, it was earlier. Well, yeah, I went to start there in 1950. So it was a full kind of bit before then. So. And can you remember when did you leave here again? Uh, when it closed? September 81. 81. It closed shortly after that. That's where we got, got transferred to her. Well, got the redundancy. So you were here 31 years? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 85. Herriton closed in 85. That's when I got me redundancy. I took the redundancy because I was turned 50. That was still getting me cold on the books. If you took the your redundancy, you weren't 50. You lost your cold on the books. <laughs> Straight to California with her die on with us. <laughs> <laughs> Went to California on call. <laughs> so, what do you think should happen to this site then? You know, obviously it's been empty since 1981. Well, you see, I was the ones that wanted to get a pretty building, an outlet made there. They were the pretty cool. And do you think they should? Being names changed, but they didn't sell Fraser stuff, you know. The herd is not to not see bad like. Do you think there should be some kind of memorial here for the colliery or something to acknowledge that it was here? Well, you think there would be, wouldn't you? I mean, the days are. I say the end of Prince after us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Prince George. Oh. That's right. It can't be where them trees was, I think, last level. And you can't remember the, the pit pond being filled in and the water cooler tower replacing it? Because that would have been by 1970 on the old maps.